Hey guys, hope you are doing well. We are on the 67th reading today. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 18, and 19. And our big point is follow the greater than David. Um, once again, big picture of our project and reading through the Bible as we are, is we are seeking to find the power of Christ in the Old Testament, seeking to find the power of Christ in the New Testament so we can lead well in our homes, our churches, and at work. I want to step back for just a little bit and talk about the approach that we're taking. Um, and I want to use the picture of the Continental Divide. So I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're out here in the in the desert. We're just south of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. And uh, there's the Continental Divide that goes through Colorado and and down through New Mexico. And we know what how the Continental Divide works. When rain falls, the watershed on the eastern side of the divide all goes east to the coast and to the Gulf of Mexico. And that on the west goes to the Pacific Ocean. And um, we say, well, how can we find Christ in the Old Testament? And it's a big and important challenge as we read the Bible. It doesn't matter whether it's Old Testament or New Testament, that we we see that it's pointing to Jesus Christ. And uh, just like rain that falls in, uh, in New Mexico joins into little creeks and streams and rivers, and uh, hopefully it doesn't dry up. But, uh, you know, the point is everything eventually leads to the big point of Jesus Christ. Everything points to Jesus Christ. And when we get to Jesus Christ, he says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Walk by faith, not by works. Trust in me and receive a greater righteousness than even the righteousness of the Pharisees. That's really the big point of all of scripture. The challenge is so many times if we hop scotch around in the Bible and don't get that big picture context, we will start to see principles out of Proverbs and even through where we're reading right now of how we can have step-by-step um, um, leadership tips on how we can uh, promote ourselves and uh, and get what we want without, um, without the gospel, without the call to um, keep Jesus as Lord and us as humble, courageous followers of him. Pride is always nipping at our heels. It's like a crazy little, well, it's like a crazy little poodle that you want to punt, but uh, it's actually a, a horrible, a horrible wolf that wants to take us out. So that's why we're always saying that it's the power of Christ that we're seeking, both in Old and New Testament. Um, here we are in 1 Samuel, the transition book, tells the story of Samuel, tells the story of Saul, the rise and fall of Saul, and then the rise of David. And uh, just love it. It's it's like your favorite war movie. I just think of um, my, I love the Lord of the Rings, and I always hear the sounds and the music as they go to the different kingdoms within that series. And uh, I can just hear that same background music when when we're reading Saul, uh, Samuel and Kings and etc. Where are we? Here comes David. He's on the rise. Saul is becoming jealous and uh, they go into battle. And uh, when they come back, David has been much more victorious than Saul. And the women answered 18 chapter 18, verse seven, Saul has slain his thousands, but David, his 10,000s. And when Saul heard it, verse eight says, Saul was very wroth. And it just, he just is, he's, he's <laughs> descending into insanity. They're in his house. He's invited David to come and play his harp so that he can um, uh, have the evil spirit, it says, uh, not, not bother him. And he gets angry and he cast his javelin and he said, in verse 11, I will smite David even to the wall with it. Crazy, crazy. Saul killed his thousands, David, his 10,000s people like to praise their Davids. We should praise the greater than David. The sad reality is we're going to see that even Dave, even though David is repentant, um, he will he will descend as well. We all know of David's sad ending to his life and his family. So let's pray to the greater than David today. Dear Jesus, you write your word, Holy Spirit, you inspire it. 
uh, to point to you. We don't find our our salvation in the little Davids and in the uh, the little leaders uh, like Moses and uh, Samuel and uh, Isaac and Jacob and and all of these Abraham all of these all these figures and these stories. Every one of us, even the best quote unquote of us, uh, are sinful and we're broken. But you craft these stories to point us to one you that um, you were broken, but you came back to life fully whole in perfect power. And so we praise you, Jesus, as the greater than David. And we put our trust in you today to know that um, that because of your success, when we fall, you'll pick us back up again. And it inspires us to lead well and gives us courage to be the men that you've called us to be for our wives and our families and our churches and our businesses. So, Lord, uh, may we plug our ears to the uh, to the sound of uh, David has has done so much better. And may we cover our mouths from our temptation to um, to lift up the wrong people in our lives. May we always know that you are Lord. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, have a good one.